protest in Chicago, demonstrators face off with police, some spray painting and jumping on buses, all in response to the death of George Floyd, the handcuffed man who begged for air as a Minneapolis police officer pressed his knee on Floyd's neck. Not all of them were violent, but the crowds have been massive. The protests are winding through Chicago this afternoon. This is the scene from Chopper 2 right now over Trump Tower, where there has been a skirmish. There is a, as you can see, the blue helmets there, a large presence of police. And this was the scene near Trump Tower about a half hour ago. Protesters surrounded and rocked a police wagon. Good evening. I'm Jim Williams. It's been a, an eventful day. We've been watching this breaking story unfold all afternoon. We have team coverage tonight. Marissa Parr and Jeremy Ross are in the loop, but we begin with Jermont Terry. He is in the middle of it all. Jermont. Jim, as you mentioned, uh, it's been a crazy day here in downtown. I'm currently on State Street, and that is Madison, where cars cannot get to. Take a look and walk with me. This is the middle of state. People have been sitting in their cars for quite some time. And if we take a walk a little further, you can see further down police. They have formed a line preventing people from moving north on State Street. At this particular time, this has been what we've seen throughout the loop all day long. You can see right now people are honking their horns. They cannot get through. But if we go a little further down, you can see those blue helmets. You see Chicago police standing guard right at Madison, preventing any of these demonstrators from moving forward north. About 15 minutes ago, this crowd tried to push through these police officers. Those officers did not budge. They moved about a foot closer, and many people ran. And this is what we've been seeing for the majority of the night. The demonstrators and Chicago police essentially standing face to face, having this demonstration that, that has been going on throughout the city all day. As you can see, police are not forceful. They are standing guard, just trying to maintain a little bit of order as so many people has shut down downtown Chicago and cars cannot go anywhere. Now, earlier today, we saw a different video. The demonstrators were trying to form a human chain right at Jackson and Dearborn. Let me show you that video. One officer drove through the human chain and a woman stood in front of that officer's vehicle. But in the midst of it all, we heard another officer came up and told that officer to stop moving forward. He banged on the front of another police officer's car, demanding that he not move any further. Now back live here on State Street, you can see again that Chicago police are standing guard right in front. They are not aggressive. This crowd currently is not aggressive with them, but the indication right now, they are not letting anyone move north on State Street. That's the very latest reporting live in the middle of this. I'm Jermont Terry for CBS2 News. Jim, back to you. Jermont, thank you.